just got to, you know, the coaches are going to put put me and the team in a good spot. Uh, got a good game plan. I think you know, I'm excited for it. I'm ready for the challenge that uh, that's about to come. I, I think everyone is on the team. But I think the big thing is just attention to detail and attention to the game plan. Split, be where I be, need to be where I be, and uh, just go out there and make a play when my name's called. Drake said that he thinks this Alabama defense is better than any guys you've faced this year. Have you seen that on film? Uh, yeah, they're, they're a good team for sure. I think, uh, you know, well coached. They're always always seems like they're where they need to be. Uh, good athletes. Yeah, overall, I mean, good team. I think, probably, yeah, probably one of the better better defenses we'll uh, we'll see this year for sure. There's been a lot said about Jalen Noro, but JJ can do a lot of things with his feet and his arm as well. Do you think yeah. he's kind of slept on in, in terms of the attention he's getting right now? JJ. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I would say he's a little slept on for sure. I mean, like you said, he's got the whole package he can really do it all and he's efficient and uh i think yeah definitely slept on but i think he likes that underdog mindset having that underdog uh, rep for sure have you noticed anything like is he, is he playing with something to prove heading into this playoff a little bit yeah i think so i think we all are you know what i'm saying after these last two years uh just not getting it done can't have that anymore we all know what we need to do so Talk about the attention to detail with Coach Harbaugh's emphasis and his history on the offense, and quarterback, and everything. What are the little intricacies that he's brought to the tight end room where you haven't heard that type of uh, kind of guidance before? Whether it's the very small things or more overarching philosophy. Oh, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say specifically in the tight end room, but like just in team meetings, he's always gotten little nuggets and little points and details to like that he'll chime in on. And it's like, oh, that's you know, that's really good advice, but uh, like you said, he's just got so much experience and he's been around the game so long, he knows every position he can kind of coach up a little bit. So it's, uh, yeah, it's great having him uh, coach us for sure. I know you guys got a little bit of a history lesson of Michigan in the Rose Bowl the other day. Was there anything that kind of stood out to you when you guys were going through all that past? Uh, I think the one thing that stood out was it's been too long, you know what I'm saying, since we won it. So uh, got to get that done. How big has the last month been for you health-wise and the guys up front in terms of getting your bodies right? Yeah, really big. Been been a lot of uh, treatment, you know, just getting getting everything right. But I think everyone's everyone's feeling really good right now. Uh, preparation's been really good and uh, excited to get, get it rolling. You need AJ. How did you guys click when he first came here? And was that kind of an immediate, immediate friendship type of thing? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right away, uh, I mean, he's a great guy. Uh, got a lot of knowledge, played a lot of ball. Um, and fit right into the room. Uh, I think everyone everyone accepted him for sure. Feels like he's been here for three years, but he just got here really. Um, and he's a, I mean, all around a great tight end in the run game, pass game, pass pro. He can do it all. So uh, somebody's yeah, gonna be really lucky for sure getting him. What brought you to Michigan in the first place? From where he came from? Uh, yeah, it was. Um, Really, I mean, academics was a big part of it because obviously it's uh, Michigan, but just the, when I visited, I visited in like June 2021, maybe, or 2022. It was uh, like the culture and everything felt right. It was like, man, I think like I, I have to go here. You know what I'm saying? And then ever since I got here, it's exceeded my expectations. Was there a team that you followed growing up? Boise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was a big Boise fan growing up. But you, when did you kind of realize that, hey, I'm not saying necessarily saying bigger than boys, yeah, but yeah. that others were going to be involved? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of like I took a couple of visits, like I said, and it was like, okay. And then when I took that one to Michigan, it was like, all right, it's, it's, Boise's nice, but Michigan's just got a little bit bigger stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Weight room and everything. But no, it's been, go ahead. What have you seen from Brady pre-scoring so far in this whole prep? Yeah, uh, it's early. So obviously he's kind of just got into the spiders and pads, but uh, he's been really good so far. He's a big kid, gonna be uh, fast. He's gonna be, he's gonna be, he's gonna be a damn good tight end for sure. Jaden Davis got a lot of praise from some of the defensive players yesterday. Have you noticed him kind of coming on already in just a couple practices? Yeah, yeah, you could tell too just his demeanor. He's a, he's gonna be a good leader, and he, you could tell he's a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like putting everything in place. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's been doing really well in practice, slinging the rock pretty good. 
Uh, excited to see where, where he gets for sure. Yeah, I think, I mean, one thing is just knowing the playbook and, that, like you said, gaining that trust from coaches. But then another thing is just opportunity because you see a lot of really good freshmen come in, but there's good seniors, juniors, you know what I'm saying? So it's like they're, they're, they're going to have to sit out a year, you know what I'm saying? They don't get that, that same opportunity. But I would say it's for sure just being that, being, I was saying in there, just being a don't worry guy. Like you want your coaches to be able to not worry about you, not even – not not think about you, but you know what I'm saying. Like oh, I know that kid's on his p's and q's, so that's probably that's one the biggest thing I would say. Colson, Coach Harbaugh is known for his khakis and cleats on the sidelines. If you were a coach, what would your game day fit be? <sighs> probably some cat. Yeah, I would I would damn near do the same that he's doing. I don't know about the cleats, but I like the cleats. Probably some khakis and some some Jordans. Say it one more time, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, those guys, all the that whole uh, freshman receiver room, they've uh, they've done really good. They're really good athletes too. The in and out of their breaks, they're twitchy. Um, I think those guys are going to be really good here in a couple of years for sure. Uh, just as they keep growing, keep knowing the game more, and uh, learning the playbook, yeah, they're going to be they're going to be really good. You guys were a little bit banged up after the Big Ten Championship game. Understandably, after 14 weeks of football, you think that the new practice schedule, getting out here, having a couple weeks off, everybody a little bit healthier than they were a couple weeks ago? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Everyone's everyone's healthy and ready to go. As far as Alabama goes, they got some great corners, some great linebackers. Do you see anything on film, in particular, with matchups that you're looking to seek out? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, I see a lot on film, but yeah, they're. Uh, like you said, they're a good team. They're well coached. They got good athletes. But I mean, we're a good team. We're well coached, and we got good athletes too. So it's you know, there's going to be opportunities. This one feel different. Obviously, the the Fiesta Bowl was a playoff game, but it was TCU, and it wasn't the Rose Bowl. This one. Yeah. Really uh, definitely feel a little different because it's the Rose Bowl. It's a little more iconic and a bigger bowl. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's the same thing. Got to win uh, regardless. So. Just excited to get out there. Can't wait. So you guys are also not watching film on your individual iPad. Yeah. When did that start for y'all? I mean, we did that a couple months ago, uh, November. I think we shut we shut them down, but just re shut them down. But I mean, you know, it's not a big deal. We're gonna watch film as a team, and we're watching film individually already. So it's you know, it's a little annoying, but if everyone's doing it, it's what you got to do. So you guys. Had started back up watching, like watching a little bit. On our iPads, yeah. yeah, yeah. How like how long were you able to watch on the iPad, kind of in the middle? Uh, I don't, I don't even. Remember. It was a good, good amount of time for sure, a couple weeks. So a little, kind of a short shutdown a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. You guys watching any more film, less film, same amount? Yeah, same amount. Yeah, without the iPads, obviously individually you can't watch in your room or whatever, but. You can go down to the meeting room, grab some guys, and watch some film. Mm -hmm. You think the whole thing's a little silly with the, I guess, hacking concerns from coaches? Or I mean, it's silly, but <laughs> hackers can get into anything, so. As far as blocking, helping them tip off some of those Alabama, they got some really good edge rushers. Yeah. Is there anything that you and AJ are, are especially, is it like an extra focus with how good those those guys off the edge are for Alabama? Uh, you're saying in the run game specifically or run pass game? game? Or, or like chip and go. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if we're on a chip or in the run game, we got it. Yeah, we know they're they're good athletes and they're going to they're gonna come, come uh, strong. But uh, I think, yeah, we're prepared for it and we're uh, – just got to have good technique, uh, do what we do. Any defense that they remind you of that you've played this year? Yesterday we heard some comparisons to Alabama's offense to, to a mix of Ohio State and Penn State. Yeah, I would say, I mean, they're their own. I've said it before, they're their own defense. But as far as just like athletes and kind of being where they need to be, I'd compare them to Penn State. Uh, like Penn State, good edge rushers, good DBs. 
good LBs, you know what I'm saying, as, as far as that goes. But uh, no, they're, yeah, they're, they're their own team, and it's going to be an exciting matchup. JJ just talks about um, after the loss last year, the first words out of his mouth is, we'll be back. Mm -hmm. How does his positivity and his visualization and meditation and just how he is rub off on the rest of you to visualize this moment and be back here? Uh, I think, yeah, he does. I mean, he's like I said, he's just a great leader and uh, he's kind of one of them guys you just want to rub on, rub his shoulder and get a little bit what he got, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, he's just a just a great guy. Never, always bringing everyone up with him. Uh, damn good quarterback. Always where he needs to be. Super smart. You can't really ask much more out of a quarterback. And then off the field, he's just a great guy too. Great friend. So uh, he's gonna go far, whatever he does. But he's definitely gonna. He's, he's he's the most locked in right now he's ever been. So. What are you proud of as a group that you? What, what was it? tough moment during the season that you guys have fought through to be back here. Like, it is hard to get back here. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, through the season, I think the one game is probably that Penn State game. I just like everything that went on last minute uh, on the road at a, against a good team at the at their state stadium. Uh, it was a big challenge for us, but we got it done and now we're here. So, yeah, it was well, exciting. So you've been asked a lot of questions today especially. Uh, what's one question you wish you'd be asked? That's a good question. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, man, I don't even know. Switch it up then. What's your why? Why I'm doing this? Uh, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. I think the one, the biggest thing that I think of, of like why I'm doing this is, it starts with my family and like the last name I have. It's like, I never wanna, I wanna make every, like I never wanna make uh, that last name. I wanna make them proud. I wanna make my family proud. I know that, you know, they've shown full support this far, driving me to practice as a little kid, 30 minutes, 30 minutes back, so many sacrifices. My brothers too, I just think like, it would be the worst thing if I ever let them down or didn't achieve what I plan on achieving. So that's like probably my biggest motivator and that's a big reason I get up every morning. And then also uh, the Lord, Lord and Jesus Christ. I mean, I've gotten so much closer uh, to God these last couple, <coughs> last couple months. And uh, that's a big reason too. I just getting out of bed with all the blessings he's blessed me with being in this position, you know, it's, I think it's just it's truly an honor. Yeah. Keep your water in. All good. How mm, was Good. Yeah. Prime ribs, good. How many did you put down? Two. Yeah, it's only two. Have you been out here before? I've been to LA a couple times, yeah. I've never really been downtown, though. Yeah. You haven't missed out, but. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Six minutes. How you doing? Good. You? Good. Um, I just kind of wanted to ask real quick. You know, with everything that's been going on this season, you know, Coach Harbaugh and all the headlines, how do you guys kind of block that out and just kind of focus on your game? I think uh, uh, just as a team and as the coaches and staff uh they just did a really good job of like our, getting our mindset right and just like having that mindset that like like control the controllables you know what i'm saying if you can't control it like stuff like that we can't control we still got to go out there and play and perform on saturday so it's like they just did a really good job of honing that in and uh i think we did a really good job adapting that mindset and knowing like you can't change it Got to, still got to go out there and perform, and uh, I think we did that. Would you say that's part of you guys brought, it, uh, brought us closer? Yeah, for sure. I would say so. As a team, as a university, and as a just a fan base, every, every, everyone that stands for Michigan definitely brought us closer. In what ways have you kind of seen that manifest itself? I mean, I think like just with the athletic director, the coach, the president, every everyone just 
at Michigan working together and just like having each other's back. You know, that's something you don't see a lot of places. And then as far as the team, we, the team's always been close. But yeah, I mean, we just even closer and that's just spending every day with each other, just, just becoming, just getting that tight bond. Yeah, appreciate you. You almost can't. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, it is was it a like shock, or is it excitement, or like what? Yeah. Like when you hear that roar. Yeah, kind of just like I mean, black out a little bit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Just kind of let let your body take over, but it's a crazy feeling. Yeah. I wish everyone could could feel that feeling. Is it that sure. same feeling that you get like when you're coming out of the tunnel too, or is it just a totally different? Uh, similar, yeah, I would say it's similar. Different for sure, but yeah, coming out of the tunnel is a different feeling. That's a different feeling for sure. It's wild. It's nuts. It's a uh, bucket list venue to get to. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Has there been any away stadium where you've kind of felt something similar to that? Um, Penn State was crazy. Ohio State was crazy. Was the Penn State game a whiteout? No, nah, it was a stripe, like a stripe, uh, pretty much a whiteout, yeah, but yeah, that game was nuts. Yeah. I really like Iowa's, Iowa Stadium too, Iowa Stadium's cool. Is it cooler to like shut the crowd up or to get them fired up? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Probably shut them up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably shut them up. I can see that. But it's also cool, like, hearing the big house, you know what I mean? 